young folks, old folks. Everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door. And we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. Today's story is about Jesus' disciples and apostles. When you and I learn about Jesus in school or in kids' club, we are disciples. When we tell others about Jesus, then we are apostles. Jesus had hundreds of disciples, but on the day of Pentecost, those disciples became apostles, and 12 of them are special. Look at this painting. Can you find Jesus? There he is in the center. This was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in Italy many hundreds of years ago. And it tells the story. I'm going to read it in John chapter 13, verse 21. Jesus in the center speaks and says, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. <gasps> All the disciples get upset. Can you see how upset they are? Now, we have a copy of this painting in our Cross and Crown Church. You should walk around and look at the walls. See if you can find a copy of this painting, The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. Now, we're going to tell the story of one of Jesus' disciples. This disciple was not at the dinner table. Her name is Phoebe. Phoebe, isn't that a beautiful name? It means shining or glowing. If I had, if I have another daughter, I might name her Phoebe. Well, St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, mentions Phoebe. He's writing from the city of Corinth a letter to the people in Rome, and he says, I commend to you our sister Phoebe a deacon of the church in Sencre. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of his people and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been the benefactor of many people, including me. Boy, that word benefactor is a big one, right? Well, we need benefactors. and Phoebe might have been... Uh, well-to-do, but she was certainly a good leader of the church, and she had raised money, just like we raised money for the church, for Noah to feed the hungry people, for the pastors and the missionaries around the world, and when you drop your money in the collection, you, like Phoebe, are supporting the Apostles and the Church. Phoebe, the deacon, we remember her Young fondly. folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Kim. So today we are discussing our last apostle, who was not necessarily one of the 12. 
and was not like Matthias who replaced one of the 12, uh, but she was very important. You notice I said she. So the disciples traveled around and that was their job. Um, they gave up their, their um, ability to earn a living. A lot of them were fishermen. Um, we've got a tax collector and such. And so they spent three years wandering with Jesus. And so how did they, um, how did they live? Well, they had people out there, and a lot of them were women, that were what was called a patron. And Phoebe, our apostle today, was one of those. Um, and a patron is someone that is usually very well off and gives money to other people so that they can do their stuff. Um, so you hear sometimes a patron in art. So... Um, so that would be someone that would pay the living expenses of an artist so they can continue to do their art. Um, but in this case, Phoebe was a patron and she gave money to the disciples to help them do their good works. So the name Phoebe means bright or radiant. Um, and it was, uh, Phoebe was the female version of the Greek god Apollo. So um, he was a very important god, but of course we don't follow idols, but um, it was a very important name to have um, in this time. And so she is referred to as a sister by um, the, the disciples and that. And what that meant was that she was a Christian. So we do know that she belonged to the church at Centuria, which is a seaport located about seven miles from Corinth. Um, and this was an important point um, because um, Paul, who we'll be discussing later on, who's one of the, um, the big apostles in the church, he kind of took what the, what the 12 were doing and he took it further and really grew the church. So, um, so this was the port that he had sailed from. So Paul knew Phoebe. Um, and Phoebe um, had the title of deaconess. So whether it was actually a, um, an official position she had, or whether it was just kind of her name and title only, um, but she had an important role that she played in the church. So we know once again that she was a patron and she um, was very um, involved in trying to establish um, churches in uh, the Roman church. And so she wanted to convert all of these churches. Um, it didn't necessarily happen, but what we do know is she was a woman of means, uh, meaning that she was well off so she could, number one, she could go do this work and she could also pay for other people to do this work so she was she was a very vital person in um in the development of our church so um you know what we what we learn from her is that um is the word stewardship and stewardship means to take the resources that you get because remember, everything that we have is from God. And so we take these resources and we use them wisely. And a lot of times we're using them wisely to do God's work. So here, Phoebe was using her wealth to do God's work. And that's really important. And so when we think of um, getting money, uh, a lot of times we can think about um, tithing, which is taking 10% of what we get and giving it to the church or giving it to those in need. So it doesn't have to necessarily be the church, but it can be the homeless. It can be, um, you know, children who are hospitalized, um, anything, anyone for people that are in need. So um, it's an important lesson to learn that we need to give back. And, and that's in time, talent, and resources. Um, um, so your time, meaning volunteering, your um, 
uh, talent is money and your resources could be um, anything. It could be your skills. Maybe you have a skill that is needed and um, teaching, teaching um, young people how to cook or so. So all of these things are really important and it's important to give back. So um, think about that when you think about Phoebe and think about how you can help um, build God's church and help others. So will you pray with me, boys and girls? Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for Phoebe and for all she has done to help build um, your church. Help us to be good stewards of our time, talent, and resources, and to give back when there is a need. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you, boys and girls. Um, you may go back to the Kids Club page and check out the resource pages and craft projects if you haven't completed all of them. And we will see you next week with a new theme. Bye-bye.